Mid-Journey gets updated all the time, so this probably won't be relevant for long, but here is every Mid-Journey feature in nine minutes. If you generate a picture in one of the public channels, you can react to it with an envelope emoji. Mid-Journey will send you a direct message so you can generate in private. In the message box on Discord, you're gonna hit forward slash imagine, and this is where you get to write your prompt. We're going to be using Cyborg Dinosaur to show just how far Mid-Journey has come. You can generate in a bunch of different algorithms. Here is version one, version two, version three, Version 4 marked a big step towards good looking dinosaurs. Within version 4 there are actually 4 different styles to choose from. Here is version 4A, 4B, 4C, and a secret style, Style Cursed. That one's hilarious. Here's version 5, 5.1, and 5.1 Style Raw. There is also Niji Journey, which uses an algorithm trained on anime. This is Niji version 4. Niji version 5, and within Niji Journey there are also three more styles to choose from. Here is Expressive, here is Cute, and here is Scenic. Once your generation is made you have a few different options. You can hit Reroll to run the same prompt again. You can hit Upscale to generate a bigger picture of one of the images. You can hit the Variation button to see four more slightly different images based on one of the pictures. But if you type in Forward Slash Remix and hit Enter, the Variation button now turns into the Remix button, where you can make small adjustments to one of your pictures. If you upscale using an older version of Midjourney, you get access to some different upscalers, the Beta Upscaler, the Light Upscaler, and Upscaled to the Max. There is also the Remaster button that will run your picture through an updated algorithm. Now onto the parameters. What can you add to your prompt? You can change the aspect ratio of the images by typing in dash dash AR and then a ratio of numbers. 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 4 by 5, 1 by 1, 3 by 2, 16 by 9, and many more. You can add a chaos value denoted by dash dash chaos or dash dash C, and then a number between 0 and 100. The chaos value determines how much variety appears within the grid. 0 is the default. All the pictures look similar. Here is chaos 5, chaos 20, chaos 50, and chaos 100. You can also add a stylize value denoted by dash dash stylize. The stylize value determines the creativity and artistic style of the generation. A high value creates images that are more artistic but might stray from your prompt, while a lower value follows your prompt more strictly but might be less beautiful. Here is S0, the default S100, S500, and S1000. You can add a quality parameter denoted by dash dash Q and then a number between 0.25 and 2. This value determines how much rendering time you want to apply. Default is 1, the lower the value, the quicker and cheaper the picture will generate. The higher the value, the more expensive and longer it will take. Here is 0.25. It does not look very good. 0.5, 1, the default, and 2. You can add a seed number to your prompt. Anytime you generate a picture, Midjourney will choose a random seed for you, a number between 0 and 4.2 billion. These seed numbers are a starting point for Midjourney to create your picture. Here's a field of lilies, seed number 1342982. If you use this prompt and the seed number, you would get the same pictures. However, in version 3, you could also use the parameter same seed, which will make each of the four pictures appear much more similar to each other. You can add the stop parameter to your prompt, which will stop the generation at a percentage you specify. Here it is at stop 10, the pictures barely got started. Stop 50, a blurry mess. Stop 80, the images are almost done. In older versions of Midjourney, you can also include dash dash video in your prompt. Once it's created, you can react to your picture with the envelope emoji and Midjourney will send you a video of your pictures being created.
You can include dash dash tile in your prompt to create seamless textures. If you were to take one of these pictures and surround it with itself, it would create a seamless pattern. You can add two colons in your prompt to turn it into a multi prompt where mid journey will read each part separately. Cyborg dinosaur. This allows you to put a weight on certain parts of your prompt. Cyborg is now two times as important as dinosaur, which is why we have just a general cyborg in number four or dinosaur could be twice as important. You could include dash dash repeat in your prompt followed by a number to have mid journey run that many attempts of your prompt. Repeat four. One, two, three, four. You can include squiggly brackets inside of your prompt to create permutations. This is a way to save time and have mid journey run individual prompts based on what's inside the brackets. Stained glass, isometric, watercolor, tilt shift, origami. You can image prompt in mid journey where you take Take an image, copy image address, paste it into your prompt along with any words you like, and have Midjourney combine the picture and the words for you. You can add a negative prompt in your generation, dash dash no, and then anything you don't want to see in the picture. A field of roses dash dash no red. It will give you the roses, but none of them will be red. Back to version 3, there are a few different parameters you can add to change your pictures. There's dash dash test, dash dash test p, which is supposed to be more more photorealistic. There's test creative, test P creative, and dash dash HD, which is one of my favorites. But what else can you do in mid journey? There are quite a few more things. You can hit forward slash prefer. And then from here, we can choose option set, which will allow us to create a prompt shortcut. We choose the name of our shortcut under options, B Y hit plus one more under value. We type in blue and yellow. Now, anytime we hit dash dash B Y, it will transform into blue and yellow in our prompt. It's an easy way to save time. We can hit forward slash prefer suffix and choose something that will be added to the end of all of our prompts automatically. This is good for when you want to test a specific aspect ratio, but you don't want to type it out every time. You can use forward slash describe to upload an image to mid journey and have it describe four prompts that it thinks will create your picture. If you find an old picture of yours on the Mid Journey website, you can hit the ellipses, hit copy. You can copy the full command, the prompt, the job ID, or just the seed number. But if you choose the job ID, you can go back into Discord, hit forward slash show, paste the job ID, hit enter, and it will bring up your pictures as if you just made them. You can type in forward slash blend and blend up to five images together. You can hit forward slash info to see information on your mid journey profile, how much fast time you have remaining. Speaking of fast time, each generation costs a bit of GPU power. You can get 15 hours per month or 30 hours per month, but with the standard plan, you get unlimited relax generations. If you're running out of your fast hours, you can hit forward slash relax. Now your generations might take longer, but they're free and unlimited. You can also hit forward slash settings and get access to most of what we've talked about. You can pay for a stealth mode so that no one else can see your generations. By default, everything you make is public and accessible on the Mid Journey website. On one of the main Mid Journey channels, you can hit forward slash FAQ and get quick access to a bunch of different threads with information. You can hit forward slash docs and generate a link to topics covered in the user guide. You can hit forward slash help and get a quick rundown of some of the basic things you can do. There you have it. Like and subscribe if you've learned something new.